How many praises do I have online tonight? Praise God. We are certainly here to give God the praise. Psalms 150, it says, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord, doesn't it? Praise God. And David said, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. So we have so much to praise God for. We can praise him for the things that he has done, right? He's done so many things in our lives, and we can praise him for the things that he's doing right now. We might be facing so many things in our lives, things that we're, we're going through, so many challenges, uh, daily challenges, right? But we know that God is making a way out of no way. Even when you don't see him working, he's working, right? Behind the scenes, and he's working it out for your good. And we also have a praise of advanced praise, right? We don't know what God's going to do, but we know that he's going to do some great things in our lives, right? So we can give him advanced praise for what he's going to do. Amen. Praise God. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus tonight. He is so worthy to be praised. We're going to pray. Father God, we thank you and we praise you and we magnify your name. We thank you for your goodness, for your mercy, and for your grace. We thank you because it is good for us to be here tonight. And Lord, we just want to praise you with everything that is within us because you are so worthy to be praised. You are the God of the universe, and we just thank you tonight. There's nothing too hard for you, even though the enemy comes and he comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. Lord, you said you come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. We ask that you would allow your presence to be in this place as your word would go forth Allow it to penetrate the hearts of those, oh God, who are in need tonight, that they won't leave here the same way that they came, but they will leave here refreshed in your spirit, renewed in their minds. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody say, thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. I would like to give honor to God tonight, who is the head of my life and who is my life tonight, certainly to Pastor John Bowman and to the entire uh, Freedom family. We just thank God for you, our online family tonight. And last but certainly not least, my own wife, Sister Anita, and my daughter being with me, Erin, and my grandbaby, uh, Malia being with me tonight. God bless her uh, supporting us tonight. Uh, but the thought I want to leave with you tonight is be real. Can you just point to yourself today and just say, be real? Talk to yourself, be real. Praise God. Paul said in 2 Corinthians 3, we see God's glory with unveiled faces. So what was Paul trying to say? He was saying, as long as your face is veiled and you're wearing a mask, he said, you shall not see God's glory. And he went on to say in 2 Corinthians 4, we refuse to wear masks and play games. We keep everything out in the open the whole truth on display. So I just want to give you some a definition of being real. Being real is being genuine. It's being true. It's being authentic, honest, actual, and original. And this is what God is looking for. But the world has a different view of this, and it's just the opposite of these things. And that is fake and false, phony, bogus, imitation, artificial. And if you don't believe it, just take a look on social media, right? People are hiding behind posts uh, on a daily basis. They're not really uh, the person that you see on the post. They're a totally different person, but they have masks on, and they're hiding themselves and being someone that they're not. But it's easy to go through life wearing uh, different masks instead of dealing with the issues that we know are holding us back. Too often we keep them covered up, pretending that everything is okay. We're more concerned about the outside, what people think about us and our image, right? Uh, instead of worrying about the inside. But it takes a lot of work to deal with the inner issues, our character, our motives. Why are we doing what we're doing? Our attitudes, and we can show enough have some attitudes, can't we? <laughs> Our behaviors, things that we know that are not right. It's much easier to put on a mask and just pretend. 
So we worry about what people are thinking about us, but the main, our main concern should be, what is God thinking about me? If it was possible, and it's not, to do everything right, to never make a mistake, if that was possible, guess what? You still wouldn't please everyone. Someone would still find fault in what you're doing or what you're saying. But we need to not focus on what people are thinking about us, but we need to focus more on how does God see me? What does God think about what I'm doing or what I'm saying or how I'm acting? Our memory verse is taken from 1 Peter 5 and 8, and it says, Be alert and be of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. The word of God says the enemy comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. And Pastor Joel says, you will never rise higher than the way you see yourself. And that's why declarations are so important, right? We declare uh, what God says about us, right? And we believe by faith that that's who we are, right? Praise God. So in the 13th chapter of the book of Numbers, uh, Moses had sent the 12 spies uh, to spy out the land of Canaan. And only two of those spies, Joshua and Caleb, came back with a positive report. But the other 10 spies, they came back, the Bible says, with an evil report. Even though God had uh, said that he was going to give them the land that flows with milk and honey, these 10 uh, spies, they came back with an evil report. They saw the giants and they were afraid. And they thought that they could not uh, take on the land. Praise God. But only Joshua and Caleb returned with a good report. As a matter of fact, the other 10 said, we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, so we were in their sight. How many know that the way you see yourself, other people are going to see you that way as well? If you're confident, people are going to see that confidence. If you're insecure, people are going to see those insecurities. But I want you to know tonight that we need to get rid of the grasshopper mentality. Amen. We need to get rid of it. And we need to begin to see ourselves as God sees us on tonight. So start declaring that I am a child of the Most High God. We need to declare that I will become all that I was created to be in Jesus' name. So the bottom line is be real and be true to yourself. Don't allow people and things to pressure you into being someone that you're not. Too many times we find ourselves in those situations trying to be someone who we're not. So putting on masks or trying to be something you're not is very stressful, it's very exhausting, and it takes up a lot of your energy. And if you're in that situation tonight, I would just want to encourage you to just take off the mask and simply be yourself. And enjoy the blessings associated with being who God created you to be. God made you one of a kind, and he wants you to be real tonight. He wants you to be you. He wants to bless you by being you tonight, right? I said earlier in the pre-show pre that God does not want to bless the pretend you, but he wants to bless the real you. So until you take off the mask and become the real you, that's when the blessings of God will come in and bless your soul. So God made you one of a kind, and he wants you to be real. He wants to use you as you. Ephesians 2 and 10 in the NLT version says, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the things he planned for us long ago. So God has a plan that's tailor-made for each and every one of our lives. In other words, what God has for you, it is for you. But in order for that plan to be enacted in our lives, we must be real. First of all, with ourselves. We must be real with one another. And ultimately, we must be real with God. 
And can we start by being real with ourselves tonight by admitting that we need God's help? How many of us need God's help tonight? How many feel that you can do it on your own and you don't need God's help? Should be nobody in the building tonight because we must admit tonight. That's all about taking the mask off and being real, understanding and acknowledging that we need God's help tonight. Some of us are not in relationship with Jesus, and some of us are, but our relationship is a little bit shaky on tonight. But one thing I love about Jesus is that he is always standing by. He's just waiting for us to just take off the mask and be real and acknowledge that we need his help. Acknowledge that, God, I cannot make it without you. Acknowledge that I'm going through some struggles in my life and I need your help. So many times we try to figure it out ourselves, right? But the Bible says, trust in the Lord. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all of your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. There is a way that seems right to a man, right? There's a way that we think we want to do things, but God is saying, as far as the heavens are from the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. So you might be thinking this is the right way to go, but God is saying, no, no, I need you to take a detour and go this way because I need you to do something over here before I get you to this point. So we need to trust in the Lord. So it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from, come from, what your background is. Jesus wants you tonight. But he wants you to take off those masks that we're hiding behind and come to him just as you are. And if you will be bold enough tonight to be open and honest, you will see God's favor in a new way in your life. The pure in heart will be blessed. The question tonight, are you wearing any mask tonight? The mask of pride, the mask of shame, of trying to impress people, You're going to run yourself raggedy. You're going to be all stressed out trying to impress people. We have masks for work. We have masks for our families and our friends. We have masks even for church when we come to church. But God is saying, I want you for who you are. I created you in my own image. I created you perfect and a masterpiece. And I need you to be who I created you to be. So make sure that your motives are pure and that you're doing things for the right reason. So regardless, you might be doing the right thing, but is it for the right reason? Or doing a good thing, but is it for the right reasons? Are you helping that individual because you want to get a lot of you know, fame and people to recognize you and pat you on the back and say, good job? Or are you helping that individual because you love them and you want to see them doing well? So make sure your motives are pure. So as long as you're pretending, uh, covering the real issues is going to cause you to get stuck, stuck in a rut. If you make the decision to be real tonight, I believe and declare salvation is coming to your house. That means freedom. That means breakthroughs, deliverance, healing, and the fullness of your destiny in Jesus' name. And if you receive it tonight, can you say amen? Amen. 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 Praise God. I want everyone to just stand with me tonight. Praise God. And can we begin to call on the name of the Lord tonight? Those that don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ and even those that have a relationship with Jesus Christ, but you're on shaky ground tonight. I want you to know tonight that all you have to do is take off those masks tonight and just let go and let God have his way. God said that you are a masterpiece tonight, and it doesn't matter what you've done in your past, doesn't matter who you are. 
God is here to forgive you of your sins. Jesus came and he died on the cross for our sins. His blood was shed. And he's saying tonight, I want you for who you are. Even though other people have rejected you, other people have talked about you negatively and not accepted you, Jesus said, I'm here tonight to accept you for who you are and who I created you to be. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you tonight. Those that don't know Jesus and the pardon of their sins, and even those that just need to re rededicate their lives to the Lord tonight, and even those of us, we just want to support them in, in this sinner's prayer as we come back to the Lord and take the mass off and be real with him tonight. Come on and say, Lord Jesus, Forgive me for all of my sins, for I am sorry that I have sinned before heaven and in thy sight. I believe that Jesus died for me and that he rose for me. Come on, say thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you, Jesus for saving me. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus tonight. Praise God. And if you prayed that prayer tonight, I want you to know that you are a child of the Most High God tonight. Praise God. Father God, we thank you and we praise you and we magnify your name. For it is in you we live, move, and have our being. Lord, I ask that you would look upon each and every one here tonight, those that have accepted you as their Lord and Savior. Lord, I ask that you would strengthen them, bless them, Lord, direct their path on tonight. Lord, you said to trust you in all of our ways and not to lean to our own understanding, but in all of our ways to acknowledge you and you would direct our path. Lord, strengthen us tonight, strengthen our minds, strengthen our hearts tonight. In the name of Jesus, Satan wishes to destroy us for he comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. But you've come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Lord, we need your help today. We need your strength today. We need your guidance today in the name of Jesus. For you are the hope of glory. And we look to you tonight for we can look to no other. Come on and just say, Jesus, I need your help tonight. Jesus. I need your help tonight. I can't make it without you. In the name of Jesus, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, bless us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. We bind the enemy on every hand and we cast him out. Lord, don't allow anyone to leave here the same way that they came. But allow them to leave here refreshed in your spirit, renewed in their minds, transformed in their bodies tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help us, Lord. Give us strength to take off those masks that we're not trying to please people, Lord, but we're trying to please you tonight. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Bless us now in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Amen. God bless you tonight. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you.